Hello, you guys. Jalen Martinez, aka the Suburban Grower. And uh, today is harvest day. Um, I have been waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, last week, I actually tried some of uh, some of our fruit that uh, beat the rest of our fruit ripening. And today is the day we have. Um, a lot more peaches than <laughs> what's actually going to fit in this bowl believe it or not so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I'm, I'm extra excited because um, last year as you all know we didn't get any of our fruit due to uh, to the freeze but you guys this is this is what we do it for um, when it's all said and done, this is, this is what, this is what it's all about. I mean, whenever you're able to literally go in your backyard and pick fruit, it's, it's, uh, it's some type of enjoyment. So again, this is our frost peach and she is absolutely full. So just an update um, on our Saturn donut as well as our Alberta. I went ahead and took all of the fruit off of our Alberta because um, now that you can start to see this bowl is already pretty much halfway full. Um, we still have, I haven't even made it over here to this branch. Um, we, it's looking like we got about 40, probably 50 pounds, uh, 50 pounds. I wish, uh, probably about 40 to 50 fruit left on the tree. So, um, I'm just going to do what I can come back out and, um, and go ahead and get this done. So as you all can see, I got a, a new look going on. I just wish I would have looked at the sizing at Lowe's because Got a pretty big noggin. And as you all can see as well, um, this is not the color you wanna see in your leaves, my friends. This is chlorosis. Um, and what I'm guessing is, cause you can see how this side of the tree looks rather well and this side of the tree looks bad. I'm assuming that the roots um, on half of the tree have hit that limestone barrier so um i'm gonna go ahead and mulch this tree up and hopefully um that breakdown of that wood and stuff over time will get down in there and um do its thing next year so we don't have these problems i'm gonna go ahead and give it some copper some zinc um some manganese and I'm telling you guys now, if I wouldn't have cut the middle out of this tree, I wouldn't have been able to reach. Um, I wouldn't have been able to reach those fruit. Go ahead and get this branch. Next year, I'm gonna need a ladder. It's, uh, I'm, on, I'm on my tiptoes at this point. So next year, I would go, oh, I don't wanna break it. So, it's, so here's where we are so far. Um, some of these do have just a little bit of deficiencies, but I'm going to go ahead and rock and roll and put that basket down so I can really get up in here. When I was filming last week, I accidentally pressed, um, the stop button and, uh, lost my footage, but this week we're gonna do what we gotta do to make sure that we get all of this. So, oh yeah. Boy, thank God for height. Look at that. And now this is where we are thus far. So that's a that's a full bowl, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these fruit on the ground because <laughs> I don't wanna split anything up. I'm doing this the wrong way. Like the pe the peaches are picking me, but 
Let's go ahead and get this bad baby. Look at that. All right. Let's go ahead and bend this one down. Get that one. Well, I'm gonna leave this little one on here. Let it finish doing its thing. And another thing um, I was looking at is we're supposed to get an insane amount of rain, which is always good for us. Um, a great amount of rain. I think we're looking for about three and a half inches over the next week um, in the Central Texas area. So with that being said, I am more than excited, but that was another reason I wanted to get them off the tree because I didn't want them to swell and over ripen. These are the biggest peaches that are on the tree, still recording. All right, let me switch hands. Yeah. All right, there we go. So let me see. Yeah, we can see. All right. Voila. And voila. Boom. Look at these big girls. Like I said, the ants look like they've beat me to most of these fruit, but y'all already know how I do. I'm going to wash this stuff up, peel them back, and um, I'm going to eat those. Go ahead and pull this branch back down again. And um, I wanted to show you all something as well. These, these fruit grew directly on this branch, which in my eyes was kind of weird because I always assumed that they grew, um, they grew on last year's new growth. But I wanted to show you all something. Look at how pitiful these little fruit look. So probably not gonna eat those. Probably not gonna eat those at all. Uh, we got this one right here, last year's growth. And see like next year, our fruit will grow on these little twigs here. Like, so you see these little branches, I probably won't let those grow up to be in the middle, but you get the gist of it. Go ahead and take that one. And I think we are starting to get, oh no, okay. Bear with me. This is where we are so far. Oh. So shout out to my dad because um, this time last week, like I was saying, I went ahead and started, um, went ahead and my dad has sent me a picture of his Red Havens. No, I'm was it? No, it was Florida Crest. Florida Crest, that's what it was. And um, made me think, man, I'm telling you, like school has really took a number on me this, this semester. So I didn't even think, I wasn't even thinking about the tree. And uh, he showed me some of his fruit that were ripe. And I was like, well, let me go outside. And uh, last week I picked about 10, so. <laughs> Um, shout out to my dad because I had totally, totally forgotten and it's almost like they, they started getting ripe overnight, but we made a, a interesting contrast. So if you look at the video I did last year, um, that video was in June. However, that was with my early Alberta, but, um, here we are, um, I pulled those fruit and it's looking like they would have probably been done before the end of the month anyway. So um, it seems like they were still kind of earlier than what I'm used to. It seems as if they're still um, trying to um, normalize the schedule from where we were before we got that huge frost, but moving right along. Goodness gracious. Now, I do want to say something else. This was, um, believe it or not, look at that. Ooh, little spider. <sighs> okay, he's off of there. 
But um, believe it or not, um, this thus far is, um, this is not what this tree would have held if we wouldn't have had that late frost. That late frost probably knocked off about um, a really good percentage. I would say probably more than about 30% of our uh, flowers that we had on. But had it not, um, I would have literally, like I didn't even have to thin this time. So, and you guys know how I feel about thinning and making sure that the trees are well. Cause I, I will go two or three years without fruit rather than my tree to be out here doing bad. Um, but yeah, we, we, we probably only got about 20% 20, 20 of the fruit in comparison to what the flowers called for because we got down to like i think i made a video if i'm not mistaken we got down to about 20 21 or 22 degrees um as these flowers were setting so um uh, actually i'm gonna leave that one but um so in other words we would have gotten a lot more so i think this is most likely where I'm going to conclude this harvest. I'm looking up here, looking and looking. I mean, I do see some, this is smaller, smaller, super small, not ripe yet. Honestly, I don't think that one's going to get ripe. These can go about two more weeks and um, walk back around. I'm gonna leave that one. I'm gonna leave that little one. Look on this branch one more time. And um, it's looking like that's gonna be it, you guys. So go ahead and show you all the bounty one more time. So let's do it this way. These haven't been washed yet. So this is where we at. So let's do it this way. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty, twenty two, twenty, twenty four, twenty six, twenty eight, twenty nine. And like I said, I, I pulled about 10 off of there last week. We got about eight or nine on there. So you guys, I'm, I'm excited. Um, a lot of these most likely are going to be canned because if they're in a bad condition, obviously we're not gonna eat them, but I'll go ahead and um, skin them real good and um, might do a peach, might go ahead and do a peach pie out of these um, and just go from there. But you guys, Thank you so much. I hope you all enjoyed this experience. Um, like I tell you all, take care of your trees, do what you have to do for them, and they will do what they have to do for you. You guys have a wonderful day, peace, love, and prosperity.